Hey guys, hey, good morning. It is 4 o'clock in the morning, 3.55, 4 o'clock. So it's been just over six hours on my cook. Uh, just another cook in the book. So the pit is hovering just below 250. And I tell you what, that's where this pit loves to hover at. You know, right around two, just below tip 250 or uh, right at 250. You know, six hours, six and a half hours. So let's check this out. I uh, kind of overslept, not overslept, but I took, I wanted to take these all all the way to 160, the difference between uh, pulling at 155 or wrapping at 155 and 160. So these briskets are 161, 162, a little bit darker than uh, my 155s, but hey, it still looks good. Now, I like the way I get a, hold on a second, let me stop it. I'm on around. There we go. I like the way I get a good cook when I'm using both shelves. You know, I did have some reservations about that when I first got the pit because I wasn't really sure about, you know, how the color with the one brisket on top and then one on the bottom not even not getting evenly cooked or the color wise. But man, it gets uh, the top and the bottom shelf. They both get evenly cooked. All right. Hmm. Picnics. I know they're um, probably a little bit, but a little bit behind on my uh, my briskets. I can just tell by the color. They probably sit at one, maybe one fifty. In bits. I got to try one of these. Because this is the season that I put on there that I wanted to try. Got corn solid season. Oh, wow. Man, that's pretty good. And this is what I use on these guys. That's It's called steak seasoning. Steak and meat seasoning. Well, that's good. Mmm, a little bit of vinegar taste. Not bad. Nice and tender too. Oh, that's just good. Yeah, we're gonna go in the back and check out the fuel system. See how much we got left. check the back. Let's go check the back. Get ready to wrap these up. Hey, I'm trying to tell you, all you got to do is put it on and uh, leave it alone. Oh man, let's see what we got here. Let's see how much fuel. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's see, putting all this stuff down. All right. So I'm running on six hours of fuel, just over six, six, six and a half hours. Uh, I'm just gonna turn on my propane system and then uh, push through the cook, you know. And I did use Kingsford today on this cook because it was on sale. If I can get it on sale, I'm gonna get it. Okay. But that's still not bad. Seven hours, six and a half hours. And then like I said, if you want to add some more fuel uh, to start your second leg, you know, just push some of these hot coals over to the to the right, then drop some fresh. And hey, it'll continue on doing your minion method. It's that easy. But I'm just going to turn on my pallet light, turn on the propane system, and push through this cook. All right, let's go in the front, do the last look. So I'm getting ready to turn on my propane system. I can't do it with one hand, guys. Uh, maybe I should have lit the pallet light before I did the video. But last look at the cook, at the briskets. 
Let's fucking turn this light off. Let's see. Uh, and look at the back. Or you can just throw a piece of wood down there, you know? But it got enough smoke. Okay. All right, guys. That's a wrap on this cook. God bless. And hey, we'll bring you back on my next smoke.